Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Uh, now today, I'm going to be teaching you something a little bit different, something that I haven't done, and that is how to create 3D assets with Scratch, or 3D assets to put into Scratch, because we are not going to be using the Scratch editor today. What we are going to be using is a program called Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, it is a program that allows you to create 3D models. It's used in game development all the time, uh, just usually with 3D games since Blender, you know, renders 3D objects. However, there still are ways to get your 3D objects into Scratch. You won't be able to edit them as 3D objects in Scratch. However, you can create the illusion of 3D, and if you've seen some of my videos before, maybe my 3D, my 3D, um, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games that I've played, they are not actually 3D. It is the illusion of 3D, but it looks very nice, right? And I highly suggest you go check that video out, or any of the videos of me playing a 3D scratch game. At the time of this video coming out, I have one that I played two days ago on the channel, so I highly recommend go check that out so you can see what I'm going to show you the potential of you being able to do. So. Without further ado, I'm going to get into it and I'm going to teach you how to do this and I'm sure you will understand. So have your scratch project up. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it 3D Model Illusion Tutorial. I'm just going to pop a little save before we even do anything. And the first thing you're going, to do, you're going to want to do is download Blender. If you haven't, I'll put a link to the download in the description so you can go ahead and get yourself that. But then once you have it, you're going to load it up and you're going to get this screen. A lot of the time you'll start with a cube in the middle, but let's say you don't. Let's say you do not have a cube in the middle. I'm going to show you how to get that. Uh, it's very easy. So you'll see these, these things up in the top right here. You're probably going to start in layout. You can switch to any of these. Modeling and layout are probably going to be the ones you're in the most. Now, I would like to say I am in no way and um an expert in blender i am actually not very good at it i'm actually pretty terrible with it but I'm, I'm confident enough that i can show you how to do this specific thing to the best of your abilities so you're going to start by clicking this little button right here if you hover over this is it'll add a cube so you press it and then you'll get this little white square <clears throat> now first you're going to, to select how wide it is what what's the area of it so let's say you went from this corner to this corner so we grab this corner and we drag it out just like this Okay, I mean, like, no, let's actually make it pretty small. So, here, actually, I'll, I'll do this. So, let's grab it and make a tiny little cube right here. And now you're going to select the height. You can go down beneath or up above. We're going to go up above and just make a tiny little cube. Now, I'm, I'm doing this by pressing my middle mouse button and just holding it down and dragging, if you want to know how I'm doing that. So, you might realize this little thing right here. This is your, the camera of what angle you'll be seeing it from. So you can go ahead and see where your camera angle is going to be at. Um, if you ever need that, if you press this right here, this move and then click on something, anything, you can use these to change where the object is. Right now it is below the floor. You can tell because of the place where these lines are where the floor is. So right now it's beneath the floor. Now it's above the floor, floating above. You can set it on the floor. Move this way on all axes. Uh, you can do that with the camera as well. Choose where the camera will be. I'm going to keep it there. Now, uh, let's say you want to add another cube maybe. Maybe we'll make a little cube snowman. All right? Make a tiny little, little cube snowman. There's another little cube. We add another teeny tiny little cube on top. And boom. Maybe, maybe this is what we want, right? I don't know why you'd want this. It looks pretty bad. But this is just as an example. Now, what you'll see over here in this rendering option... So if you want to know what this rendering option is, you come to the sidebar with all these little options. And underneath the screwdriver and the wrench, you will have this render properties. You click that. Render engine, render engine I keep as EV. And then for sampling, this render is probably going to be at 10. I always set it to 1000 just because it's very nice. Depending on how good your computer is, this could take a little bit. And then just an example, after you're done modeling and you have your thing set to 1000 or whatever you want. Obviously, the higher the number is, the smoother it's going to look. You're going to come up here to this render option. You're going to click on it. You're going to hit render image. It's going to load for a bit, depending on how long. And then it's going to render what you built. Now you see, why can't I move it around anymore? Well, remember, your camera is right here. So if we were to take your camera and move it down, right? Just like that. Looks very nice, right? If you move the camera down and then run, not an animation. It is not an animation. Render the image. Now you'll see we can't even see any of it because we moved the camera down. So if you want to move it up pretty high, and render that you will see now we can see the whole thing 
Now, how to get this into Scratch is a bit of a different thing. Maybe if you don't like the lighting, you can mess around with the lighting. This is some stuff I'm still learning. Again, I haven't really gotten into this very much. Uh, I'm not a big expert on that. But generally, that's 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 how it works. This right here is, is, is your light. Right, so we put it this way, the light will be shining. Boom, it'll shine out and it'll spread out in all directions, meaning shadow should be going that way. In theory, in theory, yes, to see the shadows go out that way. So let's say you want this. Again, there's all kind of texturing. You can do texturing. I'm not a big, again, I'm not a big um, blender person. I'm not an expert in it. I highly recommend you look up how to moder model on Blender yourself. Maybe I'll get good at it and then show you how to do it in the future, in a future tutorial. This is just showing you how to get things from Blender into Scratch. So let's say you want this in Scratch. Let's say you want this in Scratch for some reason, one reason or another, you'd like it in here. So since if you go to your export menus, you see you can't export as anything that can be in Scratch. You might think, what about a scalable vector graphic? You can make those, right? Okay, well, let's say I do that. Let's say I go to my downloads and I, and I save that. And I open this back up and I go in here. Uh, you're not going to see this at the moment. I can drag it over though. This is what it looks like. See how it doesn't look like anything? Yeah, it, it, just, it just doesn't work out too well. So what you're going to do instead is it's a bit of a limitation. However, you're going to render your project or you render your image. Make sure your camera's in the right spot and all this kind of stuff. And you're going to... You, I use Snipping Tool. You're going to take Snipping Tool and you are going to take a screenshot of it. Right? And then you're going to save this to where you'd like to have it on your computer. Okay, I just saved it to my downloads. So now what you do is you'd come to your scratch file over here, right? And you'd go to upload a sprite. And now you see, I have this, this because I use Opera. If you use like any other thing, you'll just have to go to your downloads folder, wherever you put it. You're gonna choose to import it and then boom, here you have this 3D object in scratch now you might notice look at all these rigid little edges like what is this what is this that's because whenever you import something that's not a scalable vector graph it goes into bitmap but you do here have a 3d object in scratch and it looks very nice now again you can't change anything about this object unless maybe you wanted to i don't know maybe you want to be a little bit kooky a little crazy you go into you, you kind of just chill out maybe you come into here yeah a little yeah a little whoa look at him oh look at him he's beautiful <laughs> maybe do something like that now for animations, what you'll do is you'd make an animation in Blender, because Blender, you can make animations inside of it. You saw when I accidentally rendered an animation. So you go ahead and you'd make your animation, and then you'd screenshot every single frame, and then put them in here, and then you could run each and every one of those frames as an animation. It's very simple, time-consuming, and a little bit annoying, but you can do it, it can be done, and in the end, it, stuff can look very nice if you do it correctly. That's where I'm gonna end the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it, and if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because I expect to see some pretty cool 3D projects coming down the line. While you're at it, I wanna subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>